What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. It is November 15th, oh, the second day of Missouri's rifle season. We had a pretty interesting opening day. Mom killed a pretty decent nine point and dad shot at one and missed it. But it I'm the only one down here today. A buddy was going to come help me, but there were, or come hunt with me, but there was a a big storm here last night and it caused a lot of damage and he wasn't able to go hunting today cuz he had to stay home and fix part of his house. But anyway, we're back out here trying it again. It it is kind of windy, but it, there's no forecast of rain for today, so. With any luck, the deer will move good this morning, because I highly doubt with that really high winds and lightning and heavy wind we had last night. I kind of doubt that the deer stirred last night after dark, so with any luck, they'll move real good today. But all right, we're going to probably stay all day unless we happen to shoot a big buck, so stay tuned. Well, that's a really good sign. First deer in the morning. Pretty nice little buck. It's nothing compared to what we could have shot yesterday, but pretty nice little buck. If I'd have brought my buddy with me, that deer would be shot right now. Figured I'd show him to you. I gotta try to save my battery because we gotta stay here all day, so I really can't film a whole lot when I do film, but I'm gonna try to get all the deer like that I can on film. The deer is about 40 yards. It'll be a chip shot with a bow. But alright, <clears throat> I'm going to hop off here until the next deer comes. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, that didn't take very long. Got a little doe just come out of the hill walking straight to us There's another deer down there.
That's a doe too. That deer is about 25 yards or less. That's so cool. Check this out. Oh, he's grunting. That is so cool. After he saw her, he started grunting at her. And then just like instantly walked right over there and started pushing her off the hill. That's so freaking cool. But alright, I'm gonna hop off here till the next deer come out. Probably won't be that long. So stay tuned. The rut's kicking in and the action's getting crazy. It's only a matter of time before the really big buck starts coming out. Alright everyone, well, it's 8 o'clock. We ain't seen a deer in a, about 45 minutes or so, almost an hour probably. We got the heater going. That wind is like... 14 15 miles an hour and just whipping If it wasn't for the wind it wouldn't be that cold, but that wind makes it pretty cold <laughs> But I just thought I'd let you guys know that my buddy Ethan Lives up the road from the farm about oh, probably 10 miles I got a hold of him earlier and he's gonna show up here later with his son and we're going to see if we can't get Ethan a deer today y'all know by now how picky I am so the odds of me actually shooting a buck is probably pretty slim but oh Ethan will shoot just about anything you might remember Ethan if you've been following me for a while we uh, took him spring turkey hunting this year, and he killed a pretty nice gobbler, actually. I managed to get all of it on film, so if you guys are interested, if I remember, I will leave a link in the eyes up above to that video, so if you want to go check it out, you can. But... I just figured I'd let you all know that that might happen and kind of give you a little bit of an update. 
things have started to slow down, but I do see a lot of deer here around the 10 to 2 o'clock hour, so you never know. But alright, I will catch you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. She turned broadside buster. Make sure she stopped though. All right, guys, well, we went down there last night looking for Ethan's deer, and we found a pile of hair, but we looked for like two hours, and we could never even find a drop of blood. Like, we walked through the woods and kind of walked it out in a grid pattern, and we never found no blood, and we never found no deer. Right after he had shot, there was either the same doe or a different doe came right back out into the power line and was feeding around like normal, so I don't know, I'm gonna go with, I think he just barely grazed the bottom of her belly or something and took a bunch of hair off, but I don't know, that happens sometimes. I know we looked for quite a while and at least until I was just pretty positive that she was still alive. And probably not even that, probably not even hurt. Alright, well, here we are, back in the blind, the third morning. This is the morning after that clip you just saw of Ethan shooting that doe. And we really did. We looked and looked and looked and never found any evidence other than a little pile of hair. And this deer comes out right after daylight. That's why it's kind of hard to get footage that's not grainy of it. And honestly, that deer very well possibly could be the one Ethan had shot at. I know, I went back down there later, like this, at the end of this day and the next, and I never could find her. So, I'm going to say she probably lived. About 10 o'clock, the cattle from the neighbor's land came into the power line there. So, we, or I decided I was going to get out and go to this tree stand I'm currently in right now. I actually killed my big buck last year out of this tree stand facing behind where we're looking at now. This actually comes into play in a couple days. We have some pretty decent sightings from this tree stand. Right after I crawled into it, to the woods down from the right of where we're looking now, I spotted a big buck. However, I didn't have my camera gear set up yet, and the woods are so thick I really couldn't get an ethical shot at it. So... Sadly, we had to pass it up. Shortly after getting here, we had this small buck come towards the power line. You don't get to see it in this clip, but he eventually does come across, and it's a small spike buck. But unfortunately, this is the last we've seen on day three. We had to leave fairly early to go do other things, but... We'll be back in here for the next day, and day five also, coming up shortly. But alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave me a like, share this video out, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. But alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.